Kmart Collector's Day showed us some of the first cars from the 2012 model year. They were a series car, no first edition showed up, but this was uh, one of the awesome cars that was at my event. Apparently they were not at all stores, but this Mercury Cougar Eliminator, man oh man, I can't imagine anybody not wanting this one in their collection. What an awesome car, that thing's hot, get it, flames, hot, red, huh, huh, okay. This uh, Chevy Nova was also in the mix. It's probably already sitting in your stores now, so uh, we won't take uh, too long a look at it. This one, uh, I couldn't remember or not, so one of my subscribers said, yeah, yeah, it's already out. So this isn't exactly uh, anything new. And yeah, I already checked to see if it glows in the dark. You don't have to try. But the cool news for 2012, code cars are back. Here we have Formula Street and Dodge Challenger drift car, two of the first series cars to uh, be uh, to hit the streets. Let's go ahead and uh, I know some of you guys want to know. There's the code, Formula One. That's capital F, Formula One. Any of you guys used to do the uh, code car thing? I just buy cars. I don't do any of that uh, online game stuff anymore. I don't have time. Too busy making videos. Thanks for watching. Here we have uh, the other car, Dodge Challenger. Can you see it through the window? It ends in 001 for the code. Well, let's go ahead and uh, see what it is. Drift 001. So wherever you guys input that in line, enjoy the code. I'm going to go ahead and start keeping a track. I'm going to put a list of codes on racegrooves.com, the blog. Look in the right. I'm going to have a link for code cars, and I'm going to put all the codes there. It looks like 2012 track stars are back. Nice to see uh, the open roadster. I was saying in my case opening video that this car had the same colors as something. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Blue and orange, kind of cool. There's the uh, open roadster. Check out the wing there. It's got a track logo. That's pretty neat. I wonder if uh, I wonder if all of them are going to have a track logo on the package. And if all the track stars are going to have some type of track symbol on the car. That would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Let's get to uh, three more series cars from 2012. HW Performance continues. Here we have the 86 Monte Carlo SS. That's a nice car. That's a cool car. You know, uh, the line kind of gets populated with a lot of muscle cars. This one's kind of a muscle car, but you know what? It's a little bit newer than the 70s, so it's kind of neat. I love these uh, big boat type of cars, Monte Carlo and that stuff. Uh, I really like seeing these cars in the lineup. All-Stars Returns. I think uh, I have a little uh, UK buddy who likes to collect uh, Ferraris. 458 Italia. I'm sure he's going to be looking to add that one to his collection. That's pretty cool. Looks like it has a little scuff on the uh, roof. I don't know if that's a... Uh, nope, it's the plastic. Okay, cool. Not too much in the deco department. But uh, that's a nice classy model as usual. And last up, I should have finished with the far Ferrari instead of finishing with this one. Talk about ending with a whimper. But, you know, uh, the Thrill Racers continues again for 2012. Ice. I really like how they've been uh, presenting these cars in these colors. Just really something different. Colored wheels. Interesting uh, frosty graphics. Especially frosty graphics, especially with the Ice series. Uh, you know what? They all look pretty awesome. So, anyways, 2012. I'm ready. Are you guys? Bye bye.